Hello everyone, I'm Al from Al Valentine Co, and this is Wayward Manor, a game created by the amazing author Neil Gaiman and the team The Old Gentleman, a brilliant little game set in the 1920s where you are a disgruntled ghost trying to reclaim your home from its new owners. It's a puzzle adventure game that will transport you into a dark and screwball comedy where you also need to unlock the secrets of this twisted, twisted mansion. The game has just launched on Steam for Windows and Mac and you can get it right now. And well, if you have read anything by Neil Gaiman, you know you're going to be in for one hell of a treat. The game has quite a unique art style. Quite unique indeed. It's not like anything I've played in quite a while. It does remind me quite a bit of caricature artists on newspapers where they make fun of politicians. It's got the same extreme facial features. And this is certainly going to be fun. So without further ado, let's stop talking about the game and just get in and show you what it's like. As a house of fine New England stock. I was raised to welcome guests. In time, however, they began to abuse my hospitality. They draped me in strange fashions, lingered in my doorways, and whispered dark words in my halls. One night, they locked a terrible secret beneath the rafters. I spent years praying to the spirits of architecture, take my balconies, cellars, and wings, give me hands. Let me open that box. The spirits finally answered. A shadow crept into the attic, and a tiny pair of hands did what I could not. Of course, she hadn't opened the lid more than an inch, poor thing, before she realized she wasn't alone. Benny the Bull saw nothing. Nothing yet. The lid was only open a crack. But it was enough. At last, dear ghost. You are free. Well, as we can see and hear, the narration so far is spectacular. The game engine is quite unique, although it does seem that it could do with quite a bit of anti-aliasing. Lines are quite jagged, but that's not too important. It is the game's visual art style and gameplay that is important. So, without further ado, let's keep going in. How lovely to feel you floating across my chambers again. It is time for you to stretch your spectral limbs and gain back your full power. Your ghostly grasp extends only to those objects with an ectoplasmic emanation. See, if you can get that Oaf's attention and christen that shin of his. Well, so you can see me here. So, ah, I need to get his attention. Let's drop a bottle. <laughs> I wasn't doing nothing. There we go, right on top of his head. Oh, well done, my dear friend. Your power will return in three stages until you command the entire room. However, a simple startle is not enough for you to feed on. You must prey on the deepest anxieties of your intruders if you want me all to yourself again. So essentially the home is talking to him. Quite interesting. <laughs> I'm sure that was already open. <laughs> I need to try and pull that towards him. There we go. Oh. There we go. Who would do such a thing? Apparently I would. So we're slowly gaining our terror. So the game is quite like that other little ghost game. Hmm. Hmm. Can't you see me thieving? I don't want to see you thieving. I need to try and lure him to that little X. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Bruh, there we go. Is he not terrified of me yet? Ah, there we go. He's not the brightest man, is he? Hmm. Alright. Oh, so he's a bit more afraid. Okay, that's good, that's good. So he's just going to run at something else now. <laughs> ah, one more point and I control the entire room. Ah, and I got him! Is that, is that the last point? It is indeed. I almost can't believe it. But of course, you were able to scare the Dimitris and the room is now yours for the taking. All his fear is harnessed in that one large skull and it takes a touch to send him screaming out my door. Go on. <laughs> oh, a cappello singing. Quite nice indeed. Good haunting. Bottle up. <laughs> ah, you do get little achievements. Quite nice. I'd never seen that living buffoon before. Doug Meyer, on the other hand, has poked and prodded at my rafter since she was hired. She really comes this way. She must be in search of the girl. <laughs> this should be the last night her spiked shoes stick into my floorboards. So it is quite a nice little haunting game. <laughs> uh, just but little mouse. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Oh, she's German apparently. <laughs> Quite an interesting little puzzle game indeed. Oh, she's cleaning it up. Don't be cleaning these things. <laughs> Alright. How am I going to get her to be really frightened? I need to get the try and hit her with the bottles, but how shall I do that? Oh, and she's closing up certain things. Quite troublesome indeed. Hmm. Stop peening. I'm trying to scare you, woman. Come on. I want to hit you with a bottle. Hmm. Mr. Bud will be displeased. Who is Mr. Bud? There we go, right in her head. Oh, the acapella music is beginning again. <laughs> I need help to see help. Go on, go over there and clean that. Let me get you with this. Oh no, I dropped my bottle a bit early. So I need to lure her there. And then I need to try and open this little trap. And then grab the bottle on her. There we go. Come on. Come on. Let's get that going. Drop, drop, drop. No, I missed. Oh, very nice. It's actually a big trap. Fantastic. Come on, little mousy. Why aren't you afraid of mice? You're supposed to be terrified, I think, but you're not. Mm. Nope, she's not afraid of these things in the slightest. There we go. Dirty all of that up again. Come on now, woman. Why is it so hard to get these puzzles working just the right way so to lure her over? There we go. No! Hmm. How am I going to 
do this to her. Come on. No, that's... She's like a couple of inches away from where it needs to be. There we go. She's not afraid of these things. It kind of makes her jump. Hmm. Nope. Poison bottle doesn't hit her. The music is fantastic in the game. And the art style and aliasing issues, not a problem once it's zoomed out to this extent. It makes it quite fine, actually. And this is certainly a little puzzle game indeed. It's still trying to teach me the mechanics, and I'm pretty sure I'm doing something horribly wrong here at the moment. Because I can't seem to get this woman to be afraid of anything. Although, what is with all these birds? Oh, it's quite miraculous. Everything that woman just gets messier. No, yeah, this is no wrong way to scare these unwelcome guests. Any order of scares will grant you the fear you crave. Okay, so these are just essentially the little helpers. Quite nice little feature, actually. Come on, little mousy. Hmm. Nope. There we go, got the mouse to run right over her feet. Did that work? Yes it did! Ah, oh, I get you now, I get you. <laughs> I wonder if I can get the mouse to cross her path again. Come on. Oh, I miss her. Just barely. Okay, let's try this side. Come on, little mousy. No, you're too slow, mouse. You failed me. How am I going to get this last scare out of her? Hmm. These things don't scare her in the slightest bit. Come on. There we go, Pestilence! Finally, finally got her. Okay, I'm not so good at these puzzles just yet. Oh, here comes the a cappello singing. Fantastic. <laughs> now, one thing I have to note that's a bit of a disappointment is, sadly, the game's highest resolution is 1920 by 1080p or Full HD, so I can't really take advantage of my high resolution monitor. It's not a problem, Full HD is still better than having something below that, but it's something that would have been nice on release of the game. So let's keep going, shall we? Oh! That goon thinks he can burgle your chest right from under Dagmara's nose? I wonder what would happen if you mixed her fear of things that go bump in the night with his of things that go bump in the night. Ah, so they're stealing things next to each other without realizing it. Oh no! Dropped the bottle too early. Come on, a lady. Oh, what am I doing? It was just the right spot. I didn't pay attention to the legs. There we go. Now I get some more powers. It is just like Terror Town. Except it's easier to control. Who's making that racket? I wonder, sir. <laughs> Oh, he is scaring her. Oh, fantastic, look at that! I'll try if I can get... See if I can get the mouse over. We've run across from her again. Not yet. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, this is getting better and better. Come on, you fiend. <laughs> this big guy. Oi. Get scared. Rose is red and soon you'll be dead. Did I just scare the mouse? He was freaking out for a second there. Haha, -ha, on top of her. Come on, one more point is all I need. Oh. Disappointings. Oh, I can't move the TNT thingy again now. I wasn't doing. Of course you weren't, sir. Of course you weren't. Oh, it's a gigantic mouse trap. Okay, I've set the mouse trap, and now I shall catch her. Aha! Great. Now to scare both of them at the same time. It's getting a lot more fun as there's more people to scare. There's a lot more combinations to try. <laughs> Although the story is developing quite slowly. Oh, I should make them see each other. I didn't get to do that just yet. See, I'm not only the troublemaker currently inhabiting my upper floor. Young Herbert has made his way up here too. He undoubtedly wants to pester the helpless maid and scare her away. But ridding my attic of all meddling souls is the task best left to you. Now, sir. Oh, he's Oh, <laughs> where's my lair? Hmm. Come on, maid. Oh, I've just lured him out. You cheeky little bugger. What are you doing? Come on, pop, pop in her face! <laughs> Ooh, more things to scare her. Let's set the old trap. And we lure him over there. <laughs> My plan has begun. <laughs> Sorry, boy, oh, but I'll get her first. He's putting explosives everywhere. How oh, cheeky. Come on. Reset, let me scare some things. Come on, dearie. <laughs> oh, it's but a tiny mouse. Sure it is. Tiny mice have gigantic snake tails. Oh, she's cleaning it and boarding it up. Again. Oh, oopsies. I should have lured her closer first, I think. What is this little brat doing? And why does he have what looks like a pirate hat on? It's my job to do this, sir. Oh, I can't seem to click anything. It's glowing green, but let me pause and replay. Oh no! It seems we've encountered a bit of a bug. Can't click anything. Oh, how unfortunate. Let's quickly reload and see if we can get this working again. Okay, so we've got this reloaded. Let's get see if we can get this done properly now. So <laughs> Come on down here, Missy. There we go. Scared her once of that. And I can get to scare her a second time. I need to get this done pretty quickly. Come 
on. Come on down here. You know you want to clean this. Fantastic. And it set the mouse trap quickly, so when she comes over, I'll get her with that. Hmm. Fantastic. Now quickly get him to set the trap and explosive there. Little fireworks. Oh she's down there. <laughs> So now when she goes over, I'll get to scare her. Come on, big boom. These suits of armor don't seem to scare anyone. It's a bit disappointing in that regard. Ah, oh, got her with the bottle. Fantastic. Oh, was that the last one we needed? Wasn't it? Now let's scare this little brat as well. Fantastic. <laughs> he doesn't seem to know what's going on. Doesn't seem to care. Hmm. I quite missed the days when it was only you and me. It was so quiet then, do you remember that first nail, your bricks being stacked and the mortar spread? I feel as though soon I won't, with every new trinket and trophy I lose a bit of what I once was. We must act quickly, we all may spend much more time together. Take that goon out of my holes, woof off out that chest. Oh ho ho ho, oh no! Can I use this yet? I cannot. Hmm. There we go. So I lure him over now. Drop that on his head. What a waste. Well, it's poison. It's got a little skull on it. So I wouldn't really suggest drinking it, sir. Hmm. Come on. Let me lure you over here. There you go. You see it? Let's open that for you. <laughs> Not the booze. Is it really booze? It's got a skull on it. I don't think it would be a booze. Come on. How can you be sure it was already open? So where are you going to go now? Come on, turn around. Fantastic. So far, I'm actually really enjoying Wayward Manor. The puzzles take a while to get used to, but quite enjoyable, quite enjoyable indeed. <laughs> Time that just right. I'm not usually very good at these types of things. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you didn't even notice the chest right in front of you. Oh, open the chest for me! Oh, you just went straight through the chest, don't you, clipping? <laughs> You're not a very bright man. Who runs at things with their head? Come on, turn around and go for it. Okay, let's blow this the other way. Come on, just take one more step forward. Fantastic. Now he's gonna hit his head, and the bottle hits him. Great, got the last point we needed. Now he's scared like an itty bitty little mousey. Oh, did he just grab my chest? What? Would you look at that? Resting right on my lap is the manor key. Please grab it. My spectral accomplice 
and we can lock out each and every bird before they take deeper root in my foundation. Though Benny, who is clearly no bird at all, seems to have uprooted and fallen into my dear chimney. Come this winter, I'm sure he'll be dislodged. And most likely dead at the same time. Dagmara always had a special gift for timing. The key vanished into the yawning darkness far beyond my sight. I was reminded of the cleaning I truly required. My so-called owners had infested my chambers for far too long. I knew you'd be aghast when you saw what they'd done. The woman was the chief culprit. She had ruined me, converted my stately rooms to family dens, vanities, and glorified closets. Together we'd soil her doilies and her awful children too. For youth is no excuse for bad taste. Why, why are her wrists, also her chin, looks like testicles, like Peter Griffin? <laughs> Don't blame yourself, my dear friend. We nearly grabbed the manor key and locked them out quickly. But fate greased your spectral fingers and opportunity slipped away. No matter. We will push them down my hallways and across my landings until it is just us. Again. We're not done yet. We must first clear my living quarters of their ghastly trinkets and offspring. In this room, we find their poorly named twins, patience and fortitude. These sticky-fingered, snot-nosed gluttons have coated my walls of sugar-coated streaks for the last time. Oh, we get to terrify some children now. Perfect. Do they have troughs of candy? Are you serious? They're laughing at it. They're seriously laughing at this. <laughs> Did I just eat all of that? What is this? Mm. They have troughs of sugar. What the hell? Patient for you prefer candy to meat. Hope you can find a way to taint their treat. Oh! Put some meat in their candy somehow. Hmm. What do you have to say, Katie? Never found, not in a pair. Break them apart to earn your scare. Oh, I get ya. They're not afraid when they're together. <laughs> Much better, there we go. Who wants some of this? Trough of candy. Oh, poisoned. Come on, eat that. And, and die, just a little bit at a time. Let's put the mouse strap up. <laughs> that little bugger over there is just so fat and gluttonous. Next together like candy. Hmm. Need to try and. Oh god, that is disgusting to say the least. Hmm. Stop sticking together. <laughs> oh, that looks revolting. Oh. Ew, is that like a dead cat? Ah, why can't I scare you? And why won't you walk into the mouse trap? Hmm. Come on, try and eat some of this crap again. 
I'm better off on my own. Perfect. Who threw that? <laughs> there we go. Oh, apparently they missed each other. How quaint. Oh, so now they're arguing over the candy. And I should lure one to me. There we go. This is a bit more tricky than the last ones. Oh, come on. Just, just step on it. Nope, they just want that. Let's see if we can break them apart right there as well. Fantastic. Come on. And a bottle to the back of the head. <laughs> Come on, I quickly have to do this so I can scare you. <laughs> oh, double scare. Brilliant. Time to haunt them out of their own room. <laughs> The architect of this house had a flagrant disregard for 90 degree angles and appreciation for the imperfection of a tree's grain. You understood that. She must learn this too. But even if she can't, it would be quite fun to show her the stains of superficiality. Beautiful. It is scare her. Come and eat this, ya fatty. <laughs> It pukes everywhere. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, I did it too early. Or didn't I? What is she doing? What? What is this? Oh, no, no, it's okay. I did get my scare in the end. Oh, no, I, I did that quickly. Come on, come and get a treat, my darling. <laughs> what is it with these people and cakes and things? They're so fat and disgusting. Okay, now, how am I going to get her to try that? Oh, I get you now. Come and get a cake, my dear. And a bottle on you. Oh, it's grotesque, apparently. Come on back. <laughs> now go home and scream. She was the easiest by far, so far, actually. Easily. Ooh, let's keep going. She finally arrived, that hapless maid. Hider of keys. I wonder what took her so long. She probably thinks that mischief in the attic was Hubert, or an oversized rat. Oh, time to scare two people again. <laughs> it was your favorite. Oh, she is so weird screaming over everything. Let's set that mouse trap.
Why is the cake covered in... Ew, cobwebs. That is disgusting. <laughs> ah, yes, your work is never done, my dear. Certainly not if I have my way. Hmm. Right there in the back of the head. Okay, how else shall I get them? Ah, oh, there we go. Let her go get her cake and then it'll puke all over. <laughs> if you, I have to say, if you can get by the graphical art style, which looks like it's from the early 2000s, it's a really enjoyable little puzzle game. I really like it. And that's all that really should matter. Oh no, I'm trying to click the thingy behind it. Aww. Let's see if I can get the old lady with the mousey. No? How oh, disappointing. There we go, got him. Did I manage to get both? I got one at least. Better than nothing. And I had to get the last one of a puking doll. Oh, that delicious cake is now ruined, darling. I'm sorry. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> Well, folks, I have to say, Wayward Manor is really enjoyable. The narration, when it kicks in, is superb. The writing, really good. The music, quite enjoyable. The graphic art style is a bit lacking, it is quite old, but thanks to the visual style they use in it, compared to pure graphics, it's quite good. It works really well with the entire setting of a comedy horror puzzle game. I I could really recommend this game. If you like a little puzzle, you like to scare people, you like a bit of comedy. There's just some screwball in this. Wayward Manor's game for you. Now do remember it is available right now, Windows and Mac on Steam, and the relevant link is in the description. And so far I want to give my kudos to Neil Gaiman and the old gentleman along with Blue Shark, the people that brought us this wonderful game. It is certainly good and I give it a big ol' thumbs up. I hope you've enjoyed watching my first impression so far and my little let's play. I am certainly enjoying it quite a bit and I hope you did too. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share for more very interesting games coming to the Mac. I'm Al, thanks for watching and bye bye. Thank you.